Wade and Blake are building the boxes for the garden. The dirt arrives for our box gardens thanks to Blake, Casey, and Wade. Yeah, my name is Lance. I'm from uh, Texas. I'm married to that young lady over there with the baby on the pouch. Uh, we just came up to Fort Yates to help out in any way we can and we ran into this young lady and we've been trying to help her out ever since just doing what we love, playing in the dirt. All right. So, Awesome. Do you think you'll be back? I'm coming back to move here in a year. All so. right. We'll welcome you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kimberly from First Baptist Hearst, Texas, and we have 81 teenagers and adults that are here to do Vacation Bible School in the community and then just go out in the community and say, how can we help you? Uh, we come in June, but we started last year coming in August. Last August, we did a backpack operation back to school out here at the elementary. And we're coming back this uh, August to do ministry to the school also, but we're excited to team up with you and do some ministry. What are you planting, Frank? This is yarrow here. A blank state slate, the very beginning of our project, the Helping Hands Community Garden. I'm just going to kind of walk you around, show you what we've got. This is our, just a simple entry into our building. And now I'm going to take you in, kind of give you a quick shot of our garden. We've got some boxes here. We have a few vegetables in in the far one. There you can see we're doing some uh, composting with gra or mulching with grass clippings around the beans. We have some radishes, some herbs, trying a few potatoes in a garden box, got some peas, and we thinned out the pumpkins like you suggested. So we're going to try transplanting pumpkins, see what happens. Never know. And this is what I was telling you about our um, no-till potatoes. I think what I'm going to do is come in with some dirt and hill the dirt around them. And as you can see out there, I tarped off a spot with some black tarp. We'll leave that there, till out the grass, and then we'll do some no-till planting there next spring. And as you can tell, you need to do some serious weeding. A little bit of cultivating, but our tomatoes are doing good. we got cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. Kohlrabi, peppers, cucumbers, um, let me see what else, onions, lots of squash, some, uh, some, sorry about that, have a hole in the ground back there, some Indian corn that the seed was given to me by one of the elders, it's really spotty, I don't know if the seed was old or what, but we'll see what we get from it, and Around here we have the pumpkin patch I was telling you about, and I'm doing as you suggested. I'm going to, like I told you, the person that planted it is really, really, really thick, so we'll leave this part in, see what happens, and then we have a portion that's been thinned out, and that way we can do some side-by-side -side comparisons, do some education, teach some planting techniques in the hows and whys we do it. I forgot to tell you also, a group came by today and they're interested in maybe putting a high tunnel in this location this year, so it would be exciting. I just want to give you an update on our garden. Right here we have our pumpkins we transplanted, which are doing very well. We have beans in the far box, a few potatoes coming up in the middle box garden, and here we have our peas, which obviously got in way too late because of the cool weather and now it's been too warm, so don't think we're going to see much production from them. We have our small container garden with our tomatoes. We actually took some tomatoes to farmers market last week. It's starting to produce very well. In this area we have our no-till potatoes. Believe it or not they really are coming but it's going to take time to determine what kind of uh, production we get from this. In the far garden, far side of the garden, I don't know if you saw this before, but we have it tarped off to kill out the 
the grass and then that will be our no-till area for next season. Right here we have our tomatoes which are actually right now just loaded with green tomatoes. They produce very well so the community is really really looking forward to a lot of fresh tomatoes. We'll have plenty to make some salsa in our kitchen. Our cabbage is coming along nicely. Uh, we've had a lot of cucumbers already which is kind of amazing to me for the growing season we've had. We took several last week to Farmer's Market and I just picked several that will be going again tomorrow. Our peppers, we have a lot of different types of peppers. I think we have three different types of peppers over there. They're coming along nicely. We have kohlrabi, which is something I think will just be kind of fun to work with for the people. We have a um, huge broccoli crop this year. That's doing very nicely and the people seem to really like it. So that's probably something we continue with. And here we have our green onions, which we are thinning out and we'll be taking small green onions to the market and then we'll let some grow so we can get some bigger onions. We have some Walla Wallas planted in there. One of the requests from Farmer's Market in the past has been a lot of squash, so we have quite a lot of squash coming and I'm really anxious for the squash to spread and kill out the weeds. We've had a problem keeping the weeds from the garden, but it'll get better. Next year I anticipate a lot of growth in the community garden project. On the far side we have our native corn and like I believe I told you in the past it's some traditional corn that one of the elders gave me. I don't know if the seed was old, if it's the growing season or what, but it's pretty hit and miss how it came up. Now our last area I'd like to take you over to is our pumpkin patch. The entire community is really excited about this. We're going to have a pumpkin festival this fall and I think it's just going to be loads of fun for the kids, the elders, the parents. So as you can see in the foreground we have our pumpkins that are planted extremely close. We're going to use this to show people if that's the, the wisest way to plant that or on the far side we have our pumpkins that are thinned out. So what I anticipate happening is on the near side we're obviously not going to have any weeds because of the coverage of the pumpkins but I do believe the pumpkins that are thinned and on the farther side will probably be the largest. So we're using this as an educational experience. Again, if you have time, please come visit our Helping Hands Community Garden. Thank you. These are the pumpkins that were transplanted. Obviously they didn't have much of a problem taking hold. They're in a box garden. And back there around the white trellis is our green beans. They've finally taken off and I did mulching around them. So I think that's going to work very well for our beans. In the middle box I tried some tomatoes in a box garden. I think they should do really well. They don't have anything to compete with and also they're mulched. In this forefront is the peas like I said before. I think the heat got them. They just absolutely have not produced very well but I'm going to try them in a box garden again next year because I'm quite certain they will work well. This is our container garden. It's the only one we have this year. It's got the cherry tomatoes in it. We've picked several and it's absolutely loaded with green tomatoes. So I'm sure we'll go along and do that again next year and also use the earth boxes. This grassy area is like I've said before is the no-till potatoes and actually some of them are coming along quite nicely. I'm really really surprised. And there's our tarped off area in a circle of course which is pretty reflective of the native culture. And in the forefront of it there you can see one of our no-till potatoes. Looking out across the rest of the garden our tomatoes are doing wonderfully. They're absolutely loaded. The tomatoes are huge on them. And we are going to be able to do all kinds of preservation with our tomatoes. We're going to have a lot of salsa, which the residents really like in Sioux County. 
a little farther out we have our cabbages. They're doing nicely. We'll harvest them before too terribly long. More tomatoes. I'm really not quite certain what this is that I put in, so if you know, just give me a call. I thought it was going to be cauliflower, but it certainly isn't cauliflower. Um, in this row, we've got our cucumbers, and they're doing amazingly well. We've already harvested tons and tons of cucumbers. We have kohlrabi, broccoli. We've got a couple different kinds of green peppers, and I've harvested several dozen off of them already. I'm certain we'll have enough of the peppers to freeze some. Out in front of us you see the squash. I've been telling everybody they're possessed little buggers. I don't know if we're going to have a lot of squash, but that was a request of the people. In the background you can see our corn. And like I've told you before, it was seed that was given to me by one of the elders. It really hasn't done very well. We've got a few tall stalks out there that are starting to tassel, so we'll see what we get. Maybe we can save some seed for next year. And this little grassy area in here was where our onions were. I already harvested them because the squash are going to soon be taking over everything. It's absolutely amazing. We have pumpkins under the fence, over the fence, around the posts. We have pumpkins everywhere. We're going to have an amazing Halloween for the kids. We're going to just be able to do all kinds of projects with them and with the elders. Do some um, pumpkin pies for the holidays. On this end is where they were planted extremely thick. And you can obviously tell there's not a weed in there, I don't think. And down here a little farther is where I send them out to do some education on the preferred way to when you plant and as you can see we got a few weeds and don't know if you can see it in there or not but I have a lot of volunteer tomatoes coming up all over this garden and the other ones so that should be pretty interesting to see if they produce. I think it's really awesome when we get a lot of um, vegetables, you know, because a lot of people look forward to that. The elders enjoy it? Yeah. Good. And I think it's good for everybody's health also.